This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello and welcome. My name's Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for joining us as we wind down 2019 here in the lovely month of December, folks. Welcome to episode 164 of the podcast that was voted Best of Rhode Island by the readers of Rhode Island Monthly. Thank you all for your votes. Absolutely. Two years running, folks. Two years running. (laughs) So just... Subscribe to Rhode Island Monthly. You should. It's a yes. great local magazine. They it's a have great wonderful gift. articles. Yeah, it, thank you. It is. Right? That's a good point. <laughs> you could you got totally somebody? make someone's year. Yeah. How? When's the last time you gave somebody a magazine subscription? A I good mean, quality gonna... magazine subscription. I've, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've given, uh, given the Highlights magazine to my nieces and Ranger okay. Rick. Do you remember those? I do. Fine publications. Yeah, yes. <laughs> still running. Still running strong, wow. man. Goofus and Gallant from <laughs> Highlights. Look at you. I often learned a lot of lessons from them. Um, I chose the Goofus Road more than the Gallant Road. Mm. Uh, do they still call it Goofus and Gallant? I don't know. I don't get the. I don't get Highlights here. We do get Ranger uh-huh. Rick, but we have okay. not yet bridged into Highlights for my kids. Yet, so. We never got Ranger Rick. We were we were strictly a Highlights family here uh, when we were when, when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I essentially read it for the goofus and gallant, and then I just you know. <laughs> then you were passed. done. I was done. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect for the ADHD brain. Uh, Thanksgiving last week. Hopefully, everybody has recovered nicely from their various activities. How was Thanksgiving in the Larson household? I saw a photo. Yes, uh, that that came out great. By the way, the photo came out great uh, of all the family on the front steps. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness for tripods and that little self timer on the iPhone, my friend. It, uh, can, it makes well, you can trigger the the phone. You can trigger the phone with your watch. If I had remembered to charge my watch. Oh, oh, major fail. I, you know me. I'm usually always wearing my Apple Watch, yeah. but I took it off while I was doing a lot of baking and cooking, and just my hands were all a big mess, and then I forgot to charge it. Ah. So yeah, I had to set on the self timer. <laughs> what else? Oh, what also is cool though when you're wearing the Apple Watch is you can see the screen. So if somebody's out of you know out of the frame, then uh. you can move them on in. But yeah, the turkey was great. We fried it. I think it was our favorite fried turkey yet. The weather was amazing. Uh, all okay. of like the neighborhood. Guys come on over and pretend to be cavemen and sit by the fire as our turkey crackles inside. But it was awesome, really. I was pleased. And, of course, we just had our first snowfall, like first really good snowfall this week. Yeah. So I'm, I'm ready for December. I love the holidays. Thanksgiving really kicks it off in style. How was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was good. You know, we saw some family. We got some stuff done. It's uh, it kicks up the season for us. We uh, with our church, we're involved a lot with Bags of Hope, which is a wonderful charity organization throughout the season. Uh, they you know do bags for foster uh, foster children uh, with gifts, and it's a personalized bag. It's really cool. Uh, but you know that that really kicks off there. Uh, I will say this about the first snowfall. This was our first snowfall with a paved driveway. Ooh, yeah. Game changer. Uh, You know, I shoveled snow the other day and I did not. I mean, it was only like four, four or five inches. It wasn't crazy. Um, I did not have that guilty feeling that rocks and dirt and, you know, junk from the driveway was ending up on the lawn that I was going to have to, you know, pull out of the lawn Mm -hmm. in May or April when I start going or or worry about the lawnmower picking up a rock and shooting it across and and hitting something. (laughs) It felt good. It felt really good. And and, uh, and my driveway is not a muddy, slushy mess. So thank you to the fine folks over at Pardini Driveways for working with me and and making that work and making it all so nice. So I, love it. I, I was very <laughs> it's the little things, Mary. It uh, is, but it, you know, it's <laughs> supposed to snow again this weekend. Um oh, so good. yeah, you're going to be each time you're shoveling rather than grumbling, you can say Actually, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be shoveling that much longer. Uh, I think we're going to go the battery operated snowblower route. Nice. Uh, because it's to me it, it, that it, our driveway is small enough. And, and one of those devices, if I have to go to the fire station in Susan's home uh, and she has to do it, I'd rather have her with a, a battery powered one. They're yes. strong enough nowadays. And 
you don't have to mix the fuel. You don't have to pull start. You don't have to worry about it being cold. The batteries charge up pretty rapidly. So done a little bit of research on this. And uh, I know. So I think we're going to be moving towards that. But nonetheless, if you're tuned in while you're on the road working, getting errands done, just listen and enjoy the episode. If you hear something that piques your interest, you're going to find all the links and info on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. What do you have for this week's Wicked Interesting Pick, Ben? Seems like everybody's got a con. You know, there's Comic-Con, <laughs> there was Soprano-Con, there's VidCon, there's... Well, podcast, uh, pod, podcast movement is kind of their PodCon. I wonder if there is a PodCon. There probably is. There we probably don't know is. about it. Yeah. But <laughs> we, we, we'll, we'll certainly be looking into it after this. But given that it is December... In Newport, they will be having SantaCon Newport 2019. It's on Saturday from 11:45 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so, what 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 is SantaCon? You may ask. Well, SantaCon is a free to attend, non-commercial, non-political, nonsensical Santa Claus convention <laughs> that happens once a year. Obviously, it's for charity. Yeah. It's a math ga- it's a mass gathering where people are dressing up like Santa Claus in the costumes or other Christmas slash holiday characters. Yeah, some festive you, attire. Yeah, maybe you want to be uh, elf on the shelf. If you want to be mensch on the bench, you can do that as well. Maybe you dress up like a menorah. Hey, and be uh, get get your eight crazy nights going on. Uh, but this happens in various cities throughout the world, and one of those cities being Newport. So, uh, dust off your Santa suit, gather your elves. You know, make sure the reindeer. You know, they're all fed and ready to go. Uh, it, it's going to be fun. They'll have uh, they'll have food. They'll have games of other local activities uh the only thing they ask it's free to attend but they ask that you do bring an unwrapped toy or two for the drive you know to to help uh you know help with the whole Mm -hmm. toys for tots thing we obviously we work a lot with guardians furniture and mattresses with their toys for touch drive but let's be honest folks uh anywhere you can drop off a toy is a beautiful thing so uh check that out it's uh it's 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 going to be fun. I, I'm interested to see the photos. I'm looking at photos from past years, and uh, they're all standing on riot. the dock. Yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, Grinch, I see that is a potential costume. Yeah, very uh, warm that, too. Yep. A warm costume. If you can get the good one, yeah, absolutely. So check that out. That's our wicked interesting pick of the week. It's SantaCon Newport 2019 happening on Saturday from 11:45 to 8 p.m. down in Newport. And now here's the wicked fun in the 401. Ben, do you know what Disney movie just recently hit the theaters? In case you haven't missed, in case you missed it, it's like, it's like taking over everywhere. Well, I mean, Disney owns everything, so I mean, there was Star Wars, there was Frozen Two, there, we there go. was, <laughs> um, yeah. They, they, uh, but you're right; they pretty much do own everything. They are taking over the world. Well, Walter. not only. <laughs> Not only have they taken over the theaters, but there is actually an acapella group here in Rhode Island called Beauty and the Beats Acapella. Get that? Instead of Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beats. They oh. um, are going to be having a winter concert Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, Metcalf Auditorium. And this is just a great way, of course, to kick off the holiday season. It's just a really fun acapella group. Maybe you yourself are a Disney fan at heart. Maybe you have a young person in your life who loves Disney songs. But um, this is going to be a really fun concert. And I... I'll be honest. I will wear my my Mickey ears with pride. I am a huge Disney fan. Sure. I sadly quote these movies all too often in my adult real life. Um, and just to know that there are these really amazing locally talented singers, you know, associated through Brown. So it does take place at Brown University's Metcalf Auditorium, but it's free to the public. So That's you can cool. just stroll on in and check this out once again Friday night at eight p.m. I like that. Deck the trunk with food truck follies. I'm so glad I didn't mess up those letters because that would have been really bad and earned (laughs) us a little E after our title. But it is the Deck the Trunk with Food Truck Follies. It's a fun event happening over at Frerish Farm. They do this. This is the second annual. They do a lot of cool things over there at the farm just because mm-hmm. they have the space. It's different. But this is their second annual holiday celebration. They'll have great local food trucks from our friends over at, you know, Rhode Island, you know, the, the Rhode Island PBD food trucks events. Uh, 
they will have uh, v- vendors there uh, on display. You can come and decorate your trunk with all the trimmings and displays. Awesome. And have some fun doing it. And then there will be a contest. There will be judges going around to find, pick who's the winner. Of course, they'll have all sorts of uh, Christmas supplies there as well. You know, there's fresh trees, greenery, the mantelpieces, the roping, the laurel, the pine, everything you need from yeah. a great local farm. And plus, there'll be people there showing you how to decorate, how to how to do some different things. There'll be cookies and hot cider. Delicious. Uh, you can pick up a gift card while you're there, or do some you know shopping while you're there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The people over at Farish Farm are just, you know, they're, they're wonderful people there. So the the event is is kind of an all-day thing. It's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, December 7th. But if you're going to get there early and do the, the trunks, you, you, you can do that, or you can come later on, like from 2.30 to 4.30 uh, to, to see the display with the winners announced around 4.30. It's it's just a, it's it's cool because you can you know come and check it out and and get some good food truck food uh you know if that's if that's something you you look forward to if you have, always it's, been, it's been, always. A, it's been a, well it's been a few <laughs> weeks since we had like really like outdoor food truck weather but these food truck events still go on you just got to be selective of where you go so mm-hmm. uh general admission is free it's you know just come on down if you want to register uh, to do the holiday trunk. It's ten bucks uh, for a vehicle just because you know they're trying to raise some funds for some good charity work there. So check that out on Saturday at the food. Excuse me, deck the trunks with fruit, food truck follies over at Farish Farm. It's it's your, it's your good folks. Uh, PBD food truck events and the beneficiary I should mention is Big Brothers Big Sisters of Rhode Island. Nice. nice. Happening both Friday night and Saturday afternoon is the 2019 Providence Winter Lights Market and Tree Lighting. So this of course takes place downtown. This is the third year that they're doing it. Uh, The downtown Providence Parks uh, Conservancy How do you even say that word, Ben? As it works for me. Conservancy? Conservancy? I'm going to say it that way. Comment below how you would say it. (laughs) Right. I don't talk for a living. Um, (laughs) So basically the Providence Art Culture Tourism, it's going to be this two day family friendly event that's going to be taking place. So they're going to have tons of food going on. I mean, talk about wanting to get a taste of the town. You'll be able to get all different kind of bakery goods, uh, seafood, street food, drinks, you name it. Tons of great things going on to eat. Then they're going to have a lot of activities and performances, one of which I it like caught my eye so much because I may need to participate. There's a Providence Holiday Saxophone Choir. It's a group dedicated to spreading the holiday spirit by bringing as many saxophonists as possible together to play wintry music. Saxophonists uh-huh. of all levels are welcome to come in and join in. It's just a sense of growing community and warmth, so I might check that on in. Miss Wednesday and the Coalitions is going to be playing some vintage jazz. What Cheer Brigade, that big fun street band, is going to be yeah. playing. Um as well, the Extraordinary Rendition Band, another great street band that we have here. There will be figure skating demonstrations taking place at the Bank Newport City Center. Nancy Kerrigan, let me say that again. Nancy Kerrigan, the Olympian, is going really? to be skating. Yeah, like this sounds like such a crazy, amazing event, right? And then they're going to light the tree twice, just in case you miss it on Friday, because they're going to do it Friday at 5.30, and then they're going to, that one will be at the Providence City Hall, and then they're going to do one on Saturday at 5.30 at the Bank Newport City Center. So, tons of fun things, no matter when you go, Friday night or Saturday afternoon or evening, you're going to be able to be fed, you possibly are going to see an Olympian, and you're going to hear some really fun music. Fantastic. That's uh, that's great. I mean, yeah. geez, I'd just go for Nancy Kerrigan and ask <laughs> right? her to uh, re- reenact her uh, her horrible thing that happened in Little Hammer. What? No, sorry, the horrible person. You know that. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the seventh annual Rhode Island Author Expo is happening at the Roads on the Patuxent on Saturday from 10 a.m. for 4:30 p.m. Uh, folks, we're giving you a lot of things to do on Saturday, so just gas up the car and go, go, go. Mm-hmm. But this is a really great place to pick up awesome Christmas gifts. It's it's free to attend. There will be free parking, free admission, and free writing panels. You can see hundreds of local authors get their books right there. Uh, they'll autograph the books nice. and get photos taken with Santa. And they will have a whole myriad of raffle drawings as well, so... 
local authors, you you know, it's it's a wonderful thing, you know, to to give a a book from a local author. I was there a couple of years ago. It was really cool. It was, you know, just such a wide range of people that were there. But it's it's something uh, definitely got to check out. It's happening from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Yeah. 10:30 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. I'm okay. I, we we talk. Where's our we're, coffee, Ben? Where we is talk, our coffee? We talk good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roads on the Batoxit. <laughs> it is the Rhode Island Author Expo. There's this book that I love to read to my kids this time of year. It's called Owl Moon. It's a Caldecock winning uh, children's book. Fantastic about a little child going and looking for owls with her papa. And the Audubon Society of Rhode Island is hosting a couple of owl prowls this month. This is just a great time to actually see owls in their native habitat because the sun sets so early and there's just so much darkness, sadly, earlier in the day, it's a great opportunity to see the owls, um, to see them as maybe they're hunting and everything. So this Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Fisherville Brook Wildlife Refuge taking place in Exeter, this will be an event. Now, I would recommend that you register ahead of time. Uh, There is just a small little fee, whether you are an Audubon member or not, Um, but it's a great event, especially for kids ages 7 and up. And if you can't make it this Friday, but you like the idea of it, don't worry, they're going to be having another event on the 13th of this month as well. So if you're someone that likes to be outdoors, maybe you've got interested kids who who like owls. For some reason, I'm not going to lie, the kindergarten curriculum... uh, is has a whole chapter on owls yeah. <laughs> in the kids' curriculum. So if you have a kindergartner up who maybe learned about owls, this would be a great event to check out. Y- you know, I think Mr. Rogers was on to something having that neighborhood to make believe and X the owl. You know, yes. that was uh, that that could be he, he was on to something ma- way was. before his time. Way before his time. <laughs> well done. Well done, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the podcast where you get your weekly fill of Madonna for, oh, I don't know, 18 seconds, and that's enough for the week for me. But no matter where you go in Rhode Island, you're never more than 18 and a half miles from Connecticut, Massachusetts, or the ocean. And we have the final free weekend of Free Photos with Santa happening on Friday, December 6th in Seabrook, New Hampshire. Now, I realize that's a far drive, but it's happening at the Cardi's Furniture Mattresses up in Seabrook, New Hampshire on Friday, December 6th. But on Saturday, 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 December 7th from 4 to 8 p.m., it is going to be taking place at the Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses in South Attleboro, Mass. Now you're talking. Mary, we are talking a free professional photo with Santa, thanks to the good folks over at Blue Flash Photography, you'll get a free four by six photo right there. And then you'll be able to download a free digital copy via the Facebook page after the fact. Mary, how much does this cost? Zip zero zilch. I am it actually, Ben, can you see what I'm doing right now? I'm putting you, it into my phone. I <laughs> see that. I, you're locking it right in because this is <laughs> this is the time to do it. It's it's always it's a wonderful event. Children and well-behaved pets, no appointment necessary. Just show up, meet Santa. You want to do something nice. You want to do something incredible. Go buy an entire living room set right after. But if you can't do that, uh, <laughs> if, if, if that's not uh, worked into your plans for the day, but it should be, uh, if you could bring an unwrapped, a new unwrapped toy or like new unwrapped toy for the Toys for Tots campaign, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Of course, Cardi's Furniture Mattresses also participates with Operation Rovac. Remember our vets at Christmas? That is in collaboration with the uh, Big Blue Bug Solution, the folks, Tony DeJesus and, and the Goldman family over there. So check that out as well. Free photos with Santa at Cardi's final weekend for it. That is your borderline. We 
here at Wicked Rarity are incredibly proud to partner with the United Way of Rhode Island to help spread the word about amazing opportunities for you, your family, or your friends that you could volunteer in and around Rhode Island. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's probably at this time of year, you don't have a lot of time left between now and the holidays. So let us give you something uh, to look forward to in 2020. And that is Providence City Arts for Youth. They're looking for after school volunteers for their winter session, which is from January 28th to March 7th, and their spring session, which is from March 25th to June 6th. This is the kind of opportunities I like because we're thinking warm weather already. Responsibilities include assisting teacher artists in the classrooms, helping with homework, monitoring the front desk. And they're asking for a one day a week commitment Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. during the six week session. Now, you can go and apply. Obviously, you're going to be working with children. So there's going to be some background checks and they're going to give you a little bit of training. But you reach out to Amber over at Providence City Arts. They will help get you pointed in the right direction. This could be really cool and, you know, really rewarding. Yeah, what do you have? Definitely. Well, Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless statewide um, is looking for people once again in the new year, 2020, point in time count volunteers and street outreach volunteers. So basically, they want people to help out uh, with the street outreach support teams to connect people who are experiencing homelessness with the services and housing opportunities. The commitment is at least one shift per week on an ongoing basis, ideally in the early mornings or maybe the evenings, and maybe if you had some weekend time available. So this is once again, as you were talking about, Ben, great thing to look forward to for the new year is maybe if you wanted to start volunteering, add that to your resolutions. You can start to line these things up now. And obviously we know that uh, there's a lot of people who who are homeless in our state. So this is a great Mm -hmm. opportunity to help them out. Awesome. If you want to learn more about the United Way, or maybe you yourself are in need of assistance, especially as we go into the colder months, visit the website or simply dial 211 and get connected to the help that you need. I'm going to write words to that song one day. (laughs) You should. And folks, as we said in the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. We love to be social, and this time of year, we know you've got the phone in hand, you're snapping pics, you're going to Christmas tree farms, you're going to tree lightings, you're seeing Nancy Kerrigan on ice. Guys, when you're posting those pictures, please let people know that you learned about these events through Wicked Roadie Podcast. We've got some really exciting stuff coming in 2019, and the more that you can help spread the word about this podcast, the better. So use that hashtag, Wicked Roadie. Nancy Kerrigan on ice, and it, it, it's not even her cryogenically frozen. So, sorry, that was morbid. If you're looking to get your message directly into the ears of our listeners, I always say something real stupid before uh, I tell you, hey, <laughs> let's help you get your message out. <laughs> you can email us at wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. You, would you believe me, though, that people actually listen to hear how stupid I sound? Hey. Uh, you can reach out to us on Facebook. It's like people who listen to Howard Stern. People who listen to Howard Stern will listen for an hour a day because they wanted to hear what they, he had to say next. People who hated Howard Stern listen for two hours a day. Do you know why? No. Because they wanted to hear what he was going to say next. <laughs> I love it. So true. Well, until next time, my friends, my name's Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. <laughs> You've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. Don't you feel lucky? Don't you feel lucky?